Hyundai redesigned its popular small car, the Elantra, with a lot of visual cues from the larger Sonata. It makes for a pretty good looking small car here, but in the all important battleground of interior quality, it's possible Hyundai may have brought a knife to a gunfight. Now, Hyundai had a tough act to follow after the last Elantra, which was far and away one of the best looking small cars on the market. Its successor here, about an inch longer and an inch wider, though height and wheelbase remain roughly the same. Uh, obviously, the big difference up here starts with the nose, where there's a large hexagonal grille here that sort of dominates the front bumper, very similar to kind of the grill on Hyundai's larger Sonata, its family sedan. You get around to some kind of the lighting elements here along the side. I see a lot of kind of Toyota Avalon, Toyota Camry going on there. Uh, very sleek headlights though, sleek taillights as well. I gotta say, overall, still a very good looking car. That said, interior quality is a real battleground among small cars these days, and players like the Honda Civic, even the Dodge Dart, seem to be winning that battle. And the new Elantra has a very horizontally oriented dashboard here relative to its predecessor, which was kind of much more focused on sort of a waterfall center stack here. Uh, plenty of upscale features here. Um, things like heated front and rear seats, a memory driver seat for the power driver seat uh, in this car, this Elantra Limited here at the Auto Show. The center stack here has a multimedia system that will include Android Auto at launch, Hyundai says, and Apple CarPlay as soon as they can manage to get into it uh, later on. I gotta say, from things like the quality of the leather seats to uh, the materials on the upper doors, rear arms and elbows land, even to the headliner and some of the silver trim running around the dashboard, doesn't seem like Hyundai really came to compete. Um, Again, auto show cars, different materials from what shows up at the dealerships, so we'll have to wait and see. The back seat has lots of legroom and a nice low center floor hump, but not a ton of headroom. I'm six feet tall, that's where I'd sit to drive. I'm okay this way, but not so much this way. The Elantra will come with a pair of four-cylinder engines, good for EPA combined gas mileage in the low to mid 30s, according to Hyundai, with automatic transmissions. Stay tuned for our driving impressions, pricing info, all of that and more closer to the Elantra's on-sale date in early to mid 2016.